In this video, I'll break down eight music video effects for Final Cut Pro. Now, some of these effects are completely free. You don't have to have any plugin. However, some of these are going to require a plugin. Any plugins that I use in this video are for sale on my website, WinkinsMedia.com. So if you're looking for some plugins, go ahead and check out my website. But again, all these effects are going to be some of them free and some of them are going to be paid. So don't worry if you don't have any plugins. You'll still be able to create some of these effects. The first effect is a music video like title card. So as you can see I have this clip right here. Now in order to add a title all you have to do is just click on uh, control T and that will bring up a basic title just by default. Then we can go ahead and just trim this title so option bracket we can go ahead and just trim this title. So you can see you have this title right here. Then we can go ahead and click on it and we can go ahead and just name it whatever we want. So let's say we can go ahead and just type in um, central so obviously the name of the artist central C and then uh, uh, 21 um, Savage. So you can go ahead obviously whatever your name of the artist is. Then we can go ahead and let's say we want to change the uh, font of this actual text. We can head over here and let's change the font. The font that I really like is called flat brush. So if we click on right here flat brush. Now let's increase the size of the actual text. We can also head over here to the horizon grid and kind of center it or off center it, you know, however you want it to look. So let's say something like that should be good. Now we can scroll down, you can have a feature that I really like is tracking. So you can see, so I can like stretch the text out. I just really like uh, that feature. Now we can go through, we can apply a drop shadow. Now what I like to do is I'll go to show and I'll take the opacity, bring it all the way up and I'll go ahead and just change the distance. So you can see, let's go ahead and just disable this horizon. You can see it has this nice like dark shadow. Now we can head over here to face and we can change the face to maybe something like a, you know, a blue or let's say maybe like more of like a red color. You can also over here click on add. You can add an outline or add a glow, but that's just kind of what I usually do for text. So that's the text right here. Now we can go ahead and select on this and then hold down the option key to duplicate it. Now we can take on this one. We can go ahead and just name the music video. So GBT, obviously it's going to depend on the music video and we can go ahead and let's just increase the size of this and again this is just you know there's not there's no one right or wrong way to do this let's say we want to move this something actually maybe we want to remove it actually kind of like behind the text I think that's kind of a cool effect now over here let's say we want to change the color to maybe something more like a yellow so let's head over here and bring it get more of a yellow effect that's kind of a cool uh, title we can do something like that and there you go that just looks you know really cool you know again if you don't like it we can take the GBT we can just take the and move the position over move it down we can move it over here you know again you can just do a whole bunch of different things but that's just kind of like you know the basic idea of how to add titles and really customize it just so you I, I like that kind of like 3d um, depth effect so that's just kind of like some tips when you're creating uh, your own titles now the next effect I want to go over is this really cool like camera shake effect as you can see I have this clip right here and then I have this clip now if I go over here to the titles and generators I have this really cool pack called the camera shake pack so you see you a total of 20 shakes so let's just select a random one shake seven so all you want to do is simply drag it on a timeline and I like it I like it overlapping a little bit on the first clip as well as the second clip I just think that looks really cool then we can go ahead to the beginning and kind of see what it looks like. You see you have this really cool like shake effect. Now, as you can see, it has this really nice flash. We can actually select on this, head over here to this icon, and take the flash and just disable it. So if you don't want the flash, you can go ahead and just do that. Then we can go to the beginning of the clip and wait for Final Cut to render. And now it's not going to have any flash, so there's a really cool camera shake without any kind of flash. Now the next effect I want to go over is this really cool like stop motion um, effect. So I go ahead and play the clip right here. This is what the original video looks like, it's just a normal video clip. If I head over here to the effects panel and scroll down to the category of the ultimate bundle, now this is for sale in my store, and if I apply the strobe effect onto this actual clip and go ahead and just disable the effect window, now I can drag it down. So let's say, let's change the strobe rate to 4, so click on here and then click enter. And then click on four, and now you'll see the the kind of like the uh, frame rate is a lot lower. So if we play it right here, as you can see, see how the frame rate is a lot more laggy. Now we can select on this right here and click on the strobe, and we can bring it even down farther. So let's do something like two, and now it's going to be even more laggy. So if we play the clip right here, there you go. See how it's a lot more laggy. So the lower the number, the more laggy the clip is actually going to be. And the next effect I want to go over is really cool, like 
film look effect. So as you can see here is the original video clip. Now I'm going to go ahead and also use one of my Paxi film matte overlays. So click on here film matte overlays and let's go ahead and drag on the custom overlay on top of the clip and let's just go ahead and trim and you see you have a whole bunch of other options but I'm just going to use this one. Now to the color, change it to like a black color. Now we can take the size and increase it. We can also take the feather, adjust the feather. We can adjust the actual like roundness of the overlay. Now we can go through and kind of like expand it so you can adjust the height and the size. So let's say, you know, that looks good enough for uh, this example. So you see this really cool like film border. Now you can head over here to the effects panel and also go to the ultimate bundle. And the two effects are channel blur and pro mist filter. So if I apply this effect onto the actual video clip, if I go ahead and let's just zoom in to like 200% so you can see what's going on. So if I go ahead and just disable all of these except blur red and then take the amount and then I crank it up. So as you can see you have these really cool like halation effects. So see here is before and then here is after. You have this really cool like blur red like halation effect. So that's how you create that really cool halation effect, kind of like the dehancer effect. Head over here to the effects panel and the next effect I'm going to apply is the pro mist filter applied onto this clip. And really the only thing you want to adjust is the threshold. You can adjust other settings. But if we take the threshold and then just bring it down, as you see, see you have this really cool like glow. It's basically just adding glow to the highlights. And there you go, you have this really cool like film look effect with a film border, halation, and a pro mist filter effect. Now if I go to the next clip, here is what the original clip looks like. It's these really cool like light ray effects. So if I head over here and go to the all category, now this is a free effect, and I go ahead and type in glory. Now if I apply the glory effect onto this clip right here, you see you have these really cool like light ray effects. I go ahead and disable the effects window. Now I can go ahead and take the amount and increase the amount and now I can use the on-screen controls to kind of adjust it. So you see you have these really cool, you could adjust the threshold, you know, the amount, but you see you have these really cool like light ray effects. Now if also if I bring it above this color adjustment layer, you'll see the color will kind of change a little bit so you can go ahead and like color the video if you want a little more of an orange hue but there you go there's this really cool like uh, light ray effect the next effect I'm going to go over is with the object tracker so if I select on this clip right here let's say you want to go ahead and track his face so what we're going to do is you want to make sure that you're selecting the clip scroll down until you find trackers now click on plus now we can go ahead and just adjust this tracker so let's say we just want to track um, a 21 Savage's face so we can go ahead and kind of just you want to kind of get a general idea you're basically just telling Final Cut what you want to track and then Final Cut will do its best to kind of like guess what you're trying to do so let's say right here is pretty good now all we're going to do is click on analyze and now you see that green outline now Final Cut has tracked it so we can go ahead and click on done now we can go ahead and then we can apply any like any anything we want to the actual clip so let's head over here to generous head over here to elements let's say you want to apply like a shape so apply this on top of this clip. Now we can just go ahead and just simply trim the clip. And now you can, you know, uh, uh, of course, add whatever you want. So let's say you want to do like you kind of like kind of like a tracker icon. So square. We can disable the fill. And now we just have the outline. So we can increase the outline width. And then we can go ahead and adjust a whole bunch of other stuff. So we can go ahead and the roundness again. You don't have to use this exactly, but this is just an example. So we hit over here, now we can decrease the scale. And let's say we want this really cool like border to be kind of like tracked to his face. So if we go ahead and play the clip, as you can see, nothing happens. So we play it right here. See how the, the box is kind of just, just, it's just stagnant. It's not moving at all. So what we're going to do is we want to select on this box, head over here to the transform tool, go down to the tracker window, and then on tracker, select on here, the object track, and there you go. Now it is tracked to the actual subject. Now we can go ahead and just decrease the scale a little bit. Something like that should be pretty good. Now as you can see, now the box, we're going to go frame by frame. See how the box is kind of like rotating with the subject? So if we play it right here, see now the box, see, now there's a little bit of movement to the actual box icon. So you can see, see how the box is kind of like moving with the subject. If I go frame by frame, you see the box is kind of just stuck on to the subject. So you can do this or you can apply like a lower third or you know anything you want it just it's completely up to you. you you could add text to it but that's just kind of the basic idea of how to have things to track to the actual subject now the next effect I'm going to go over is speed ramping so here's a clip right here so we go ahead and play the clip so you go and play right here this is just a really long clip let's say you want to speed up this portion so figure out where you want to have it start selecting the clip 
click on Shift B to bring up the blade stool, blade uh, tool effect. Now select on this and click on Shift B. So this is the the section, the clip we want to go ahead and speed up. So we go ahead and hover our mouse till we get this icon. Now we can go ahead and just drag this. So now we can make this part really fast, and we can make it even faster. Now we can go ahead and just zoom in a little bit. Now this kind of like blue like icon right here. You kind of want to go ahead and let's just go over this icon and you really want to make kind of like trim this just so you make the transition even smoother so we go back out now let's see what this effect looks like so we go ahead and play it right here see how this really cool like kind of like speed ramp effect right here and there you go see the clip is kind of just sped up now let's say we want to have it speed even fast speed even faster we can go ahead and keep dragging it so the clip will happen even faster so let's go ahead and play it right here and as you see see you have this really cool effect this really cool speed ramp effect and that's just, you know, it's a really cool effect. Now you can also do the other way. You can have it slow down or you can make it speed up. But that's just the basics of speed ramping in Final Cut. Now the next effect I want to go over is this really cool transition. So here is the original clip right here. So let's say we want to have this part, this the beginning of the part, kind of be the transition. So select this clip and click on Command B to bring up the blade tool. Now we can select on this clip, head over here to the effects panel, and we want to apply the magnetic mask, which is basically just rotoscoping in Final Cut. So if you apply the magnetic mask onto this clip, we can go ahead and select on the subject right here. So there we go. Now you can go through and refine it, use the kind of the add or the subtract. Uh, point tools, or you can use the actual like brush tools, but I think just for the sake of the tutorial, this should be good enough. So once you have the subject tracked, click on Analyze, and now Final Cut is going to do its best to track it. And kind of you can you can always like going through and kind of making sure the track is actually good. I think that's good enough. And then click on Done. So as you can see, now you have the subject masked out, and you can adjust the feather if you want. Now all I always have to do is right click and then just click Hide Magnetic Mask Editor, just so things are a lot more organized. Now I'm going to drag this section on top of this clip right here. So you have this really cool like transition. So if I go ahead and play the video right here, it kind of transitions into this next clip. So the subject appears first, and now the actual clip. Now to make it look even cooler, you can actually add a transition. So if I head over here to transitions, and let's do a set, one of my essential transitions, and let's go down and apply the light flash. Now you can apply this transition on top of this clip right here, and there you go. And now we can go ahead and just, just we can delete this end here. So let's just delete this section, and let's just expand this transition so it's covering the entire uh, frame right here. And there you go, you can actually add transitions. Now we can apply, we play the clip, and there you go. As you can see, kind of go frame by frame, you have this subject kind of just flash onto the screen and then transition in the next clip. I just think that's a really cool effect. So there you go, and then you can you use your own creativity. You, you could add a whole bunch of other cool effects. This is just an example. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're looking for some really cool plugins, go ahead and check out my website, winkinsmedia.com. The link is down in the description below. And if you enjoy these types of videos, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.